So in 12 Biology today, we're dissecting gills in fish, and it looks like we've got some nice snapper here from a local fish shop. This is the Aperculum. Where are my scissors gone? Oh, there's some. This is the Aperculum just here. We've already cut that out, and, the, and the, you can see that the gill arches are inside, and we cut some gill arches out, and then we floated a gill arch in some water, and you can see that the filaments, the gill filaments, arch runs down here and the gill filaments run off here all nice and spread out and feathery and when we take this out of the water the gill filaments clump together and when they're in the water they spread out so when they're spread out it increases the surface area and allows much more of the water to touch the surface of the gill filaments and the lamella and so the fish is able to extract oxygen from the water. When we pull it out of the water, the fish will die of lack of oxygen because the gill filaments clump together and there's less surface area being exposed to the water so that even though there's more oxygen in the air than there is in the water, the fish is unable to extract enough because the filaments are too clumped together.